Welcome back to another Dark Souls 2 lore through. Uh, I realized that uh, I hadn't uh, given anything for Rosabeth to wear, so I gave her the Ferris set. Um, and then we can talk to her now that she's a Mizzajula. And I just got a achievement so called Gathering of Exiles, so I guess this is all of the people that we uh, can bring to Majula. Oh, there you are. I'm here in Majula, thanks entirely to you. You even were kind enough to clothe me. Thank you so very much. The only thing I can offer is pyromancy. But if that might help you, come to me. Uh, I like how Corillian is just peeking right through that gap there, very creepily. Uh, do we read everything that she has to offer? Yes. Gave her equipment. Uh, we don't have a pyromancy flame yet, but let's talk to her and see what she has to say now. I finally tracked down my teacher. But I've decided to keep at it alone. I need to see what I can achieve by myself. <laughs> she spoke so highly of him before. One, uh, one makes me, it makes me think that maybe he said, get away from me, don't talk to me. I think he, I mean, he's creepily staring at us right now. I don't know what that's all about, but. Master Carillion and I are from Malfia to the south, a land lush with sorcery and pyromancy. Master Carillion polished his art at one of our renowned magic academies. But he argued that the academies were terrible places to learn magic. Hmm. This quite angered Master Glocken, my previous teacher. Hmm. Well, we heard about Master Glocken. He made all the rings. In fact... Yeah. Yep, there are rumors that pyramids are clocking. So, we're starting to get a fuller picture of everything here, you know? We have, we, we have Carillion, we have Glockin, we have Falcon, we have Rosebeth, we all these people from Melfia. It's interesting. Um, I mean, again, there's no big implications like some of the stuff in Dark Souls 1 or 3, but it's just cool to continually get more and more info about these places. I also suspect that this is an attempt to uh, kind of recreate the uh, um, Griggs and Big Hat Logan storyline. Uh, and if you saw my first lore through, uh, you'll know that that's hard for to achieve for me. I uh, That's one of my favorite storylines, or at least I like Big Hat Logan and his theories. Anyway, what else do you have to say? Once Master Carillion spoke excitedly of this land. He made talk of the remnants of some great power and the deep abyss that surrounds it. I tried to ask more, but he didn't seem to hear. Oh, I'll never be good enough, will I? Sounds like he's interested in hexes in the dark. He should go talk to Falcon. Oh, so creepy. It was a perilous trek across the mountains. I faced the most frightful things. <laughs> the number of times I nearly died. <laughs> okay. I finally tracked down my teeth, but yeah, I, I need to see. Be safe. Will do. What do you have to say about Rosabeth? Anything? Now that you're creepily staring at us. Oh, there you are. Do you seek my teachings? No. The forces of magic, it is sorcerer. You scroll. Never forget, young. Loki Savage. One day my teachings will save you. Nope. Alright. Well, I think I'm done here, so let's get back at it with uh, Brightstone Cove Zeldora. And I should equip uh, some sort of ranged weapon here. Oh, 
there's a door that like opens and closes every time I get here. Um. Huh. Um. Okay, I'm gonna do this for now. Um. To get through this area, because I need a lot of range stuff here, so. Um, I always forget. Yeah, it's like. It's like this door is closed and you, and you have to open it. It's one of the necromancers we saw earlier. I can never get everything here. Um, like, I don't know if I have enough or if I want to waste um, all of the homeward bones to like get through this area but I mean let's try it yeah cuz like I need twinkling a lot and then that just goes down so I gotta immediately go back in fact let's just do this Um, I guess we'll maybe use, yeah, no, three or four, it's not going to kill us. Um, we can also jump down here. Is this going to help us at all? Okay, so they didn't move that crystal zip to there, which is great, because it's terrible there. You can never get it. So let's, okay, oh interesting, were these guys here before? Oh, I just didn't see that. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Um, I also don't know where, like, if there's, I think there's like a, Um, can I drop down here? Nope. Hmm, I wonder how you get to that area. I don't know if I've ever been there. We'll skip it. Those are rare. Oh, there's something here. Worn by hollow drang like mages. Drang like mages wore different garb. Huh. So I wonder if they're sorcerers, and we know that drang like sorcerers are like. Not all that. Oh, come on. That's where we found paint and such. Oh, I see. There's just a... Huh. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll go this way and then do another homeward bone. Oh, there you are. You did me well. Yeah. Um... Oh, and he gave us a key. Den key. Saldora Den key. Key to the den in Brightstone Cove, Saldora. The fools that venture into Saldora, unaware of the ancient deeds that still haunt the cove, are transfigured into unspeakable malformations. Yeah, I mean, this area is associated with Seath a little bit. 
and uh, we'll see um, moving forward. Um, but yeah, I guess uh, that's probably why there's sorcery here. Ugh. I hate it. I hate it. Don't. I know this is an area here. Let's not die now. I don't think you could parry or do anything to these guys. Oh, that was so cheap. Okay. Here, get it down easier, but you still have to jump to it. Or maybe you don't. Maybe I'm a fool. Oh, I hate jumping in this game. Never feels right. Southern Ritual Band plus one. not the most gripping places to, to play, but we'll get through it. A few crystal lizards. Uh, a few crystal lizards notwithstanding, sorry. That was... Not worth completing. Okay. Um, right. I didn't have any souls. Okay. Okay. Every tiny chunk helps. Oh, you can get in there. I don't know how to get in there. Um, oh, they don't make it so that you can automatically fall down. No. Uh, I guess let's do this. Not worth. This is it. I think we can get most everything else from here. 
Um, yeah, I don't want that guy shooting at me. Oh, actually, you can't get there any longer. Now, why is that? So how do you get that bonfire? Um... stuck here. Can I jump on here? Is this how I get this? Okay. But how in the hell am I going to get over there? Oh, can I? Can I? No. I can't land there from here. Not worth. Um, okay. Where is he? Okay. Ugh. This is terrible. <laughs> Come on. Ugh. Alright. Yeah, how do you even get down from here? I guess another homeward bone opportunity. Huh. Well, now I'm concerned that, uh... Oh, and I guess we should, uh, rest. Heal everything up. Okay. I just guess I should have done my research before coming here. Didn't know they would change it up like this though. way. Why did I do that? Why did I... Oh my god. Alright. Cool. I guess is it down here now? And here's that area. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, it's definitely not in this thing, so maybe you can just open up the... 
Oh, great. We can't get down from here, can we? Sure, we can. Oops. Okay, yeah, so these are actually like basilisks without those big eyes. That's decoys, and they can actually curse you or turn you to stone. I can't remember. Alright, well, let us take this guy out. Oh, that was lucky. Is this just open, please? Ugh. So how do you... Huh. Well, I'll definitely have to, like, look this up before I, uh... I go on, because, uh... There's no way I'm gonna be right, uh... Running this whole area. that what's going on? Oh. Somehow through here? Oops. in here. <clears throat> Should have checked that first. I don't re recognize this. Crescent Axe and Soul Vortex. Um, I think we might have read that, but it doesn't really have much on it. One of the lost sorceries preserved only in the undead crypt. Fires successive homing souls. Extremely difficult sorcery to evade, making it effective against frisky foes. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think that's just the way on. Well, let's let's at least talk to Hornifex. Although, I don't have any of my bossels. But we can do that later. And there's these creepy children here. Similar to those statues we saw in earlier, but these are much more fleshed out. Maybe that's what they're eventually becoming. Maybe they harvest the stone in Brightstone Seldora, and then they carve it into those statues, and then they get carved down further to these children, or maybe these are repurposing. We'll have to note the hair, because I I think the hair and the face kind of make it look like it could be that. But the body certainly looks like it's a different material. Uh, we'll figure it out. Don't we meet again, kind traveler? This is my workshop. In your tongue, I believe I would be called a blacksmith. 
I create all manner of equipment. Using an ancient technique unique to my people. Normally I only cater to a very select few. But I have a debt to you. I will craft one thing of your choice. My wares are far from ordinary. I am certain that they will please you. I require no payment this time, but you must bring me a wondrous soul. My technique absolutely requires it. I trust you will understand. Um, in the Pepenua of Ariamis, we saw the uh, Dark Ember, or the the um, the occult, or whatever. So I guess there were blacksmiths in the painting of Ariamis, and there's blacksmithing associated with Velka, with the dark, with occult. We get some cool stuff here. A curved greatsword said to have been brought to this land by a foreign warrior. The exquisitely crafted Y blade makes deadly use of both its weight and smooth slicing action. Partisan. Twin blade. I think we read this one. Composite bow. That's nice. And we can get more fire arrows here if we want. Homing soul arrow. One of the great sorceries devised by Strayed, the great mage of ancient Olifus. Fire soul arrows that follow their targets to the ends of the earth. Homing soul mass. Multiple soul masses appear above the head when fired, they home in on their target. The spell was said to have been devised by a master sorcerer, but his name is long forgotten. And we know fall control. Um... Well, I might as well do this while I'm here. Okay. And, oh, interesting. It does have some items. Um, I'm just going to come back and read for both straight and horn effects, so we will talk about that at a future date. The nature of an item is vaguely influenced by the soul that was used to create it. They can be tricky to use, but when wielded properly, they are extremely powerful. This is what I meant by unique. These wares are not for use by ordinary folk. It's hard to believe now, but this land was once a flourishing kingdom. Its king, Vendrick, came close to unlocking the essence of the soul. What a dazzling soul he truly had. Imagine what I might create with such a powerful soul. I'll be right back with Vendrick's soul. It is said that our technique originates from a strange being that inhabited this land. A pale beast mm -hmm. that lived long, long ago. We don't even know what exactly it was. It was a dragon. <clears throat> if you find a wondrous soul, bring it by for me to have a look. Will do. Do you find me strange? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. You humans are always this way. The way you glare at any unfamiliar creature. That mix of curiosity, fear, and revulsion. No, oh, well, it hardly concerns me. The nature of an item. Come back again if you find another soul. Alrighty. Alright, so I think that's it down here. Um, you know, I'm gonna give it one more go. Um, you know, pretend like I'm playing this for the first time and actually try to figure it out. It's a novel idea. But we gotta go back up to the top. Oh my 
my dear lord. Should have just jumped in the pit, I guess. So I think it's just dropping down here then. Um, okay, I think I've gotten everything else at this top way. Oh, great. I guess that's easy enough, but... Perfect. Hopefully we can actually get through this area. We didn't really take a look at that differently colored um what do you call it oh my dear lord they follow you interesting okay well let's just skip this whole area and they're probably gonna come all through here there's a torch here or a chunk maybe I guess they can be a this going? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh gosh. Should be an invader there. I mean, there was at one point in this game. So that's where I went in. All right, that's where I came out. Okay, well, let's try. Let's see if the invader comes. So, it's cool. All right, well, we have a key to this door. Which is nice. Er. Oh no, that's in whatever. Um, yeah, I think you can do this remotely in order to not 
get hurt by it. Although I'm probably still in the path. in here I can't remember oh yeah 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 so this is the door gotcha um this would be a weird place to fight one but so is the at the bottom of that well or whatever engraved gauntlets that's the special thing you get okay What? Who was that? I thought that was calling on uh, out to. I thought that was calling out to spiders. Um. Well, if it was someone that got created here, I assume they'd still be here just because I left. That's. So, I probably... Okay, there is one item up there. That's fine, though. I do like how they've placed... Oh, gosh, there's items in there. Alright, well, we're gonna skip those. So yeah, here's an interesting thing. There's uh, there's mushrooms here. Actually, if you lead the pigs from the beginning of the level all the way down here, they will. Well, again, I don't know. This is just in the first in the first version. If you can bring the pigs all the way down from all the way up on top, which I guess is up there. Uh, just the way that real pigs find truffles, they'll come and they'll sniff here and get that, and then they'll and then an item will be picked up. Will be picked up. Um, what I mean by that is that an item will have dropped on the ground right here, and it's the pickaxe. Um, I don't know if these guys additionally. Oh, is there yet another key? I forgot. Oh, there's the invader. Can you parry him? I don't know if you can. Yeah. So you have the pork, the, the pork, he has the pork shield, which I guess makes sense. Never roll away from someone chasing you. And... You can always backstab them really easily. Alright, well that's interesting little change. And he doesn't invade either, he's just here. Hopefully I can, uh... I can get by without repairing my weapon. I might just do it to be safe. Uh, I also might go... I mean, I guess I don't need to any longer here. I can go back to... Getting this. Um, might be a little bit jumping the gun here, but let's go human here. And let us. Um, what else was I going to do? 
Oh, repair powder. I'll do it when I get down. I gotta be prepared for never having seen this area before. I'm sure it's all completely different. Okay, I was gonna say there used to be a spider there. And there it is. Okay. It's fine. You can handle that. Good a torch. I don't need that at all. Lots of Pharaoh's lock stones, which is good. Okay. What's the next one down? Oh, can I go up here? Is there any point to going up there? I'm just gonna go down here, I think. Is that where I just was? Um, I can go down there. Can I go up here? I'm just trying to trying to get everything, but I think I might just, I think this is the only way. Oh, there's guys down there too. better than 10 billion spiders. Mastodon Great Sword. Is that what I got before? Because it looked like a spear before. No, I didn't. Although it doesn't say anything now. Cool. Um. Okay. I don't know if I can get that or not. <laughs> Lucky. Okay. Okay, nothing here. about the uh, 
washing poles, it seems to be able to like hit people before they hit me. I mean, unless you're slow like that. But if it looks like I might be able to, ex you know, take an exchange blows, I sometimes come out on top. All right. Well, it looks like we're getting to a more and more uh, spidery place, um, which could be reminiscent of, you know, Quelag. However, this place belongs to someone else. Um, let's do gold pine resin. this out. I'm not a big fan of spiders, however, snakes is my fear. I mean, if I saw this, however, I would be terrified. It's a stone, petrified stone object that they're climbing up on top of. Spiders come back. Oops. Uh oh. I didn't use. thing. Thanks for the distraction, Ashen Night Void. And I guess the head falls off. And usually some more spiders would come, but we got the soul of the Duke's dear Freya. Well, let's read that. Soul of the Duke's dear Freya, the writhing ruin's keeper. The writhing ruin is an ancient thing whose shadow remains cast over the land. It first took possession of a solitary insect, but grew its power and feasting on the wealth of twisted souls found in the land. Use the special soul of the keeper to acquire numerous souls. So there's, you know, the Duke's dear Freya. I mean, that implies Seath right there again. And Freya seems to be the spider, which wasn't originally a spider, it inhabited the spider, but seems to be the source of all the spiders in the cove, and the people that turned into spider, like, the, like, hollows with spiders on their back. 
and uh, indeed looking up here we see a uh, a pale drake <laughs> uh, here uh, and out of the trilling mouth is something mysterious here <laughs> oh my god So, great soul embraced. So what? So what does that give you? Nothing. Am I looking in the wrong place? It's interesting. It's just like a great soul. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> And here is the, uh, the pathetic, yet, I don't know, <laughs> I was gonna say the pathetic attempt to kind of recreate the uh, archives, but I mean, I guess, you know, I mean, it's not meant to be, you know, the equivalent of the archives given to Seath, even though Seath is here, although we killed Seath, yeah, I don't know. Like, it's not just we found his soul, we found him, or, I don't know, maybe something else was turned into a, uh, a stone dragon or something. So it seems like this is the duke. Bright stone key, fragrant branch of your dark quartz ring. Key to Bright Stone Cove Seldora. The eccentric Lord Seldora, known for his fascination with spiders, built a town and a personal fortune by mining bright stone. One day the town was overrun by spiders, but Lord Seldora only stood by and watched, eerily contented. So again, the other thing that's interesting is it does say the Duke's dear Freya. So, um, I don't know what type of relationship the writhing ruin had with uh, Freya or with Saldora, but um, he certainly he could have himself tried to do something. So for example, we can see here that there's a cage. I don't know that a spider would be good sitting in there, but I mean, could be a cage for Freya as just a normal spider or a small spider. And then it became more powerful due to, you know, similar things that Seath was known for doing. <laughs> By the way, there's a miniature <laughs> version of the thing we find in the ship that brings us to the um, that brings us to the, uh, Ven, what's it called? Lost Bastille. So yeah, probably kept the spider here, was reading these books that came from Seath somehow, and then tried to infuse the writhing ruin into it, and it broke free, and then later became that thing that we fought. And then started populating the entire town with spiders. And he didn't care. He wanted to see more spiders, so he didn't mind his town, townsfolk, turning into spiders. But yeah, so all of the, the, the bright stone, the smooth, shiny stone, all comes from here that we see in the game. So it's kind of interesting. Um, and, uh... Okay, I mean, at least 
Interesting. In the original game, uh, Vengarl, his headless armor, is here to fight you. So it's good because he said, stay clear of it. And I was like, well, you can't really because you need to light this bonfire and he'll come after you. Well, anyway, let us return and wrap this episode up. Um, we got lots of chunks, so I'm maybe inclined to think I knew you'd be around. that we could... Okay, we didn't get that many. We got one. I'd rather save it, I guess. Um, I don't think that Moglin sells anything. From Freya or the spider. You need armor. Oh. Are you sure? Um. Guess we. Oh, we have a shard as well. Just in case Kale says anything stupid. Ah, oh, yes. There is something I wanted to tell you. Okay. I was born in the land of Mira. Hmm. Mira is also the home of an infamous killer, a knight in name alone. He was locked in the dungeon for multiple murders, but shortly before his execution, he managed to escape. And the other day, I saw a fellow with a striking likeness, and then, and then, Wait. Well, I think he looked rather similar. No, no, it's true. I saw just such a man, I swear. I believe his name was... C C uh, Cray something. Creighton? I believe. They shared some resemblance, I, I think. Yeah, so maybe I was supposed to come back here at some point. You know, I don't like talking to these guys because they really don't give you much of anything. So maybe you're supposed to form your opinion on the two based on this information. Although it is interesting that his hat... Do we still have... No. But it looks very similar to Creighton's, although... And he says he's from Mira and that Creighton is from Mira. So I doubt that it's an imitation as the item suggests, but it might be that it was modified. Even more flame. I don't... Did you see the... It won't... I don't... But there is something... Something... I would not vent it, but it was... Did you see the flame on the map? Okay. Well, Creighton apparently was a murderer, and was locked in a dungeon and then when we found him in the Huntsman Cops he was in a dungeon but he said that he was setting a trap for um, um, Pate and that he got caught himself so that might not have been true but um, we certainly can kill every we're gonna kill everyone so we'll get him his due all right proceed bearer of the curse it is the only choice left to you. Huh. Uh, I don't want to do that. She said proceed. I don't have a million souls yet, so maybe she just means go do the next thing. Um... Yeah, so these look nothing like the things we found in Ornifex's workshop. Just checking. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah whatever. Alright, I want your cat ring. 13,000. Damn. Satisfied? No. I'll be around if you 
I don't, I didn't want to have done that. Okay, well, let's see if we can level up twice. We might be able to do two more levels here. And I guess let's just pop everything. Come on. Bear seeks less this. Three. That's nice. And then I'm gonna sink the rest into the rest of my. Uh... You would... Finally, I can get all my. Uh... I can stock up on uh, life gems. Or oh, maybe not. Thank Dang. You. We'll be stocked up pretty soon here. All right. Well, that's it for this episode. Um, I want to do a, um, I want to do a, uh, like a loose ends video at some point, but, um, I think what I'll probably end up doing is, uh, I'll try to get done with, um, all the Lord Souls, and then I will, uh, try and... Uh, do all the loose ends before we go to Drain Lake Castle. I think that'll be probably the best choice. So, anyway, uh, until next time, bye.